Hey, how's it going? Dr. Trevor Miner, physical therapist here. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a laser line onto just about any assistive device. Now, a laser line is a type of external cue or target that you can use to help facilitate longer step lengths. Now, this is particularly useful for people with Parkinson's disease. However, you can really use it with just about anyone that has a shortened step length that's also using an assistive device. Now, there are commercial options available, but those options typically range between two and $300, which is way too much for most patients or providers to afford. While there are some features and characteristics of those devices that we can't easily replicate, actually creating a device that casts a line on the ground that can be attached to an assistive device isn't all that hard. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now the first item you're going to need is this Black & Decker laser level. I'll put a link for this down below, but this particular level is really the best one uh, that meets the needs for our particular purpose. Also, I happen to use this almost daily with my patients when I'm working with them in the home uh, when I'm assessing outcome measures. So I highly recommend keeping one of these in your bag anyway. The second item you'll need is one of these flexible tripods with a phone mount at the top. Now, you can use a Gorilla Pod or something else if you have it. I happen to find this one on Amazon for a good deal. I'll post a link for this one below. The biggest thing you want to confirm is that it's not too big, so you want it to be as small as possible and that it has a nice secure phone mount at the top. I'll show you how to put this all together and how it works in just a minute. Okay, simply take your laser level, stick it into the phone mount that's attached to your tripod, and you are basically ready to go. Now, I like to add at least a rubber band on here just to hold it a little bit more secure. And of course, if you want it to be much more secure and more permanent, you can always use a zip tie to keep it nice and snug on there. Uh, like if you're gonna leave it on a patient's walker, for them to use when you're not there, go ahead and use a zip tie. That'll keep it nice and snug for you. I'll show you what to do with it from here. Okay, from here, you just need to find a suitable location for this laser. On a front wheel walker, I like to put it here on the front bar, either on the right or left. On a rollator, typically kind of up underneath the seat a little bit, just in an area that's not easily bumped or moved. Um, from here, you just turn on the light so you can get an idea of which way the laser is oriented, and then you're just going to attach it to the post so it's as out of the way as possible. Okay, now you're just going to make some fine tune adjustments to get that laser angled just how you need it and you should be good to go. I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, the laser line is lined up right here with the device. It of course moves right along with the device and it's really easy to make adjustments if you wanna change how far you want them to step forward. There you go. Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you've enjoyed this content, if you feel like it's benefited you in some way, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really would mean a lot to me. Also, if you're going to purchase any of the items, please use the links below. I do just get a small commission when you do that. Any little bit is helpful. So thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.